Hi everyone, this is Mark and welcome back to my channel. So in the last two videos we discussed about recession is coming or are we in the recession already and then what is the repo rate, what is the impact of it. So we are seeing after this even before that also stock market was coming down and post this high it's crashing down like Friday is this big crash. Today also the market fell by a lot and I suspected as I told in the last video also going forward there will be a lot of kind of correction in the market which gives us a lot of opportunity also in terms of good fundamental stocks. So what should we do in this particular kind of market? That also we discussed in the last video. I repeat again, I give you three options. First is we do nothing, we sit idle. Second option, we book profits in the momentum stocks, what we have in our portfolio. Third option is that we find some good fundamental stocks which are going through correction and we invest in them in SIP mode. Thing is that, idea is that we cannot wait for them to hit the rock bottom where we go and invest. Nobody knows what is the bottom when it will be rock bottom. So the bottom fishing thing is not a concept. We should not do that. And if you are into investing, if you want to do invest, do find this good quality stocks and invest them for long term. This is the third option. There is one more option called swing trading. So when I say swing trading, this is not trading. I never suggest trading. Intraday trading is something which I have never done myself. And so I cannot tell anyone to do that. So this is not my cup of tea. Now coming to swing trading, what is basically swing trading? Swing trading is something where you understand that the stock is going down and there is some kind of momentum going on for the entire sector and this particular stock in that sector can do well in a period of 3 months, 6 months or maybe 1 year also. So average it's around 3 to 6 months and that is called something swing trading where you take the bet when the swing is the bottom and there is a chance of swinging towards the upward side. It's like a swing going from bottom to up. So you take part of the bottom, sell it off when it reaches the peak. So peak is something which is user, user defined. So user defined means this is something which is not my peak, cannot be same as your peak and cannot be someone else's other peak. So peak is something which we define. For example, 10% in this particular stock is my peak. So I'll sell it off when it reaches the 10% profit. Same stock can be 20% at peak for somebody else based on their analysis. For someone it might go up to 50% also. And same thing decides the time frame. For somebody 10%, 2 months, 3 months might be the time frame. For somebody 50% might be 2 years a time frame. 2 years is not a swing trading time frame but still some people consider that as swing trading. For them long term is 15 years, 20 years in some cases. I consider 3 to 6 months as swing trading and more than 2 years or 5 years as a long term investing for myself. Uh, 10 years is the maximum what I can think of. Beyond that probably I cannot even think of at this point in time. So in today's video we will discuss about 3 stocks which are good potential as per my opinion in this particular market for swing trading. But before I discuss about those three stocks, please understand that this is my opinion, my research. I will be investing in these stocks and this is completely my risk. You take your bet based on your understanding, your analysis. So the market is going down. If the stocks falls down also, this is completely, it's my risk. I have taken that risk. You do your own calculation before taking this bet. I am telling again and again here. This is not a recommendation. This is just my personal research. In this falling market, don't invest if you are not up for any kind of risk. So you will be sitting under rocks if you have not realized that India is going through a heat wave crisis right now. The heat wave is raised the temperature for more than 122 years before. So it's like after 122 years India has reached this kind of temperature. This image is what you see highlight the plight of the country people right now. And to get respect from this heat wave people need cooling solutions. So different kind of cooling solutions be it coolers, be it air conditioners, be it fans. Everything else is required to get respect from this heat wave. So today's stocks are based on this particular theme only. And end of the video, I'll discuss one more sector. From there, you can pick the fourth stock yourself. So let's jump into the stock discussion. The first company today is Voltas. So Voltas, what Voltas does? Voltas is into appliances and everything. If you expand further from this particular segment, then if you see the key points about Voltas is that Voltas has inventory cooling products and 36% of revenue comes from them. So inventory cooling products means air conditioner, air coolers and commercial refrigeration products. It's of July 2021. Volta is number 2 in the air cooler segment which is a growing segment in India and they have more than 10.8% market share. Right? And in the case of air conditioner they are number 1 market share and they have more than 26.8% market share in the case of air conditioner. So this becomes a very large pair in this segment and second important thing is they are backed by Tata. So this is small fundamental about uh, Voltas, basically business about Voltas and to highlight they are a debt free company where that profit is much more than debt. We can see profit is 504 where debt is 361. Now let's look at the chart and understand the opportunity what we have. So if you see in this chart, the stock has been falling great from here because of bad results where the margin got contracted even if sales increase. Now that might happen again because of inflation, the market and the margin can also contract from this particular 
company and you can see in terms of RSI this stock is oversold zone that means a good opportunity to buy this stock in the last one year this stock has never went through oversold zone so this gives a good opportunity to invest in this stock from RSI perspective again I am saying these are risky bets so unless until you are ready to the risk don't invest in this stock now the opportunity what we can have is definitely from here suppose let's suppose it doesn't fall further from here this is a price it closed this is the price which I am looking for it to touch okay so this is what it is if we see the opportunity from here to here these stocks give you opportunity of around 25 percent return so this is a swing trading time frame definitely three to four months maybe five months also ideally april may june quarter results will give you a return of this if everything goes in the favor of voltas so this is the first stock second stock we're going to today we'll discuss is from this particular segment only and that particular stock is symphony Symphony. So Symphony Limited is the market leader in terms of air cooler. So I'll expand it further to just give you a thought. Symphony, you see the revenue is 59% revenue from India and rest of the world is 41%. Sorry. The air cooler industry is divided into organized, organized markets. Organized market is 30% of the total market. Out of this 30%, the company has 50% market share for the last 4 years. So they are a leader in terms of air coolers. They are not leader air conditioners. This particular company, Voltas is a market leader in uh, air conditioner and also second market leader in, in terms of air cooler but symphony is market leader in terms of air cooler so this second company what we have fundamentally if you see this company is not a debt free company overall but they have cash equivalent and net profit if you combine these two they are almost close to debt free company their promoter holding is very good 73.2 percent but we will not go get into that kind of details because this is only for some trading perspective there is not a long term investment uh, advice or long term investment analysis also so this is symphony air cooler market leader lot of opportunity people cannot afford air conditions not for everyone the light bills the uh, installation charges the initial cost of it yearly servicing everything is very costly compared to air cooler air cooler is something which people can afford it's movable you can move from one part of the room to other part of the room even from one room to other room because the wheels they have a lot of innovation going on in the air cooler se segment also so air cooler is more affordable more uh, I am not saying it's better than AC but something which can be afforded by more and more people and can be utilized in a more flexible manner. So air cooler can be a bigger thing for the current market because not everybody can afford AC as I am telling you. Air cooler is something which is very much in demand right now in this market. So Symphony is the leader in that particular segment. Now let's look at the charts for Symphony. So if you see Symphony here. So Symphony charts look something like this. So I have already drawn this particular targets now if I, i'll just close the targets i'll redraw the diagram for you so if you see this stock i'll just expand this to look at more uh, bigger and better so this stock is somewhere here so rallying from its base and right now this is creating a horizontal support over here okay. so if you see the chart pattern this is interesting after a long time i'm doing chart analysis so this is a price action okay so this was a big resistance for this particular stock so it tried to move cross here once it fell down, it tried to cross here, it fell down, it tried to cross here, it fell down. Then finally this time it crossed and it's taking a uh, support here. So basically the first resistance has become support to this price price action. So this stock can rally from here since the price action again I am saying this is again a risky bet because of the market situation. So again invest based on your own risk appetite. The target what I am seeing right now is the first target. I'll bring it down here and see this is the first target and if you see the kind of gain what we can get from here in terms of percentage point is around 20% so something around 21.89% so around 21-22% is the gain what we can see in this particular stock from uh, this particular uh, price point or price action point of view so this is again same time frame 3 to 4 months time frame what I'm giving you is based on the quarterly results what comes out for this quarter April May June Hazard will come in July, mostly it will come in August only for this company. So that's the time frame what you need to wait. So this is the second company. Third company what we are going to look today is Havels. So Havels, Havels is not a primary air conditioning cooling company but they are into auxiliary segment as well as cooling products. I will tell you how. So this company is the owner of few brands. Okay, The brands are like Lloyd. So Lloyd is a leading company in terms of air conditioner. They have big market share. And they are into craft ray, standard, Havels and REO functioning. So whenever you install an AC, like whenever you buy an AC, you need to install it. To install, you need a lot of other equipment like plugs, switches, wires, 
and there's something called starter also what you need so this company havels is a prime or a market leader producing all those equipments and they have a lloyd as a seller also like they have a lloyd as a company which sells ac so this company does both though they are not a market leader in ac but they are a leader in terms of auxiliary product which are required for ac so this gives this company a good hold in terms of the current situation and that's why we're discussing this stock from swing trading perspective if you see the reach they have more than 11000 direct retailers 160 160000 retailers and 250000 electricians directly in the case of reach right so this gives them a good market share in terms of distribution and they can gain a good kind of sales in this particular season which is now if you see this company is completely uh, debt free company their debt is only 493 crore net profit is huge so they don't need to rely on they can take the margin hit also a stock pay 63.6 where roc in ro is very good 27.2 and 21.4 don't focus on these things today uh, but just for sake of saying this is a good company i'm giving you the points what is important now let's look into the technicals of this particular havels technicals when i say i'm see, looking only at the target short term targets so havels india if you open here so havels india looks something like this so these things are already drawn by me when i was doing analysis for myself saying it i have invested in these stocks already and uh, you can decide like as i told you based on your risk appetite so i'll not draw it again so this is the base what i invested it's fell down today but still i think this is a good point where you can invest and this is the first target so first target is 16.96% second target is 21.3% so this is how the chart and the target looks like for havels india so this is the third stock so three stocks were done first is your voltas second your symphony and third is havels fourth stock is from the sector of batteries so why i'm saying because india is going through a power crisis also there is a lot of power cuts in different parts of the country whenever somebody buy acs or fans or anything uh, air coolers since there is power cut they are getting respite from this thing they need to buy inverters they need to buy batteries so this sector which provides alternate source of power maybe you solar but to generate power you need inverters and batteries to store it then use it right so batteries and inverters can also be an auxiliary product which can be sold higher in numbers because of two things first people need cooling solutions and then people need to stay away from power cuts also so this is can be an also sector where you might see a small amount of rally and that stocks there are only two stocks right now excited industries and amaraja battery so those two stocks might also give a small amount of return in terms of swing trading in this particular market so this was the video i hope it was helpful for you you might have got some stocks which you can trade in this bear market it's very difficult to make money in bear market but if you do swing trading effectively if you understand the current economics and sector which can operate in a bear market it's always there is stock which gives you profit in a bear market also you just need to identify those stocks so if you think i gave you some stocks which you can make money out of it do like the video share to your friends and family so subscribe the channel if you new the channel help me to reach out to more and more people and do share your comments and feedback in the comment section see you later thanks so much for watching stay happy stay safe